Hi, and welcome back to Fan to Flame Dates. In this date, we're going to look at the task of young love, and the, the task is making good choices, learning to commit. And you know, I'm reminded of a story that I learned back in school of the old Spanish conquistador. His name was Cortez, and he traveled over with a, an army from Spain. And they landed on the shores of South America, and they were going to get the gold, looking for the fountain of youth. And they ran into a group of Indians called the Aztecs, and things were getting a little tough, and uh, morale was uh, beginning to uh, fade, so Cortez made a decision. He told his uh, captains to go back and burn the ships, burn the boats. There's no turning back. We've landed. We're going to accomplish our task. We're going to accomplish our mission. There was no way that those soldiers could leave you know, South America, they had to choose to fight and make things work. And, you know, that's a great word picture for marriage as well. You know, when we leave to cleave, we have to burn the ships. And, you know, there's no going back to mom and dad. There's no going back home. There's no going back to the safety and security of the family of origin. We've made a commitment to, to press on and do life together as husband and wife. And we've looked at the fact that we're going to, you know, run into conflict and we need to learn how to resolve conflict. Just as Cortez's men had conflicts, they had to commit to work through because there was no turning back. We have to commit. And research tells us that most couples begin their first thoughts of separation and divorce within the first two years of marriage. So it's an important task right now that we choose to commit. It has to be a mindset that we're not going to give up just because things get difficult. And part of what we're fighting here is, you know, we've been taught through our culture that the basis of marriage is love. Why are you getting married? Well, because we love each other, you know. And uh, I like to say America's uh, philosopher Tina Turner has set the record straight when she asked the question, what's love got to do with it? You know, marriage is built on commitment. Do we want the loving feeling? Sure, we want the loving feeling. But there's times when we're not going to have it, that, you know, we wake up and we don't feel the love. But we need to commit to recapturing that feeling, to, to be building the romance, to be taking care of what needs to be taken care of so we can achieve those loving feelings that we look for in marriage. So, uh, you know, we have to choose to stay and work things out and not run. We need to choose to not pretend that everything's okay, but to deal with the stuff that, you know, creeps into our life. And, uh, you know, one of the tough choices that we need to make is I may need to choose to be the one who does the changing. Reminds me of a little joke, guys. You know, when our wives marry us, they think they're going to change us. And that's because they've been taught in the marriage ceremony that we're going to be the ones to change. You know, uh, stop and think about your wedding. If it was like mine, it was in a church, all right? And uh, all the bridesmaids walk in and then all of a sudden the door opens and there's the bride. And what's the first thing that she sees? The long aisle. And then she looks up and she sees the altar, beautiful with flowers and the unity candle and all that's there. And then she looks to the right and she sees him. And you know, she never stops thinking that way. I'll alter him. I'll alter him. I'll change him. You got that right. <laughs> and uh, we don't change as easy as you think, do we? Right. So uh, but sometimes we need to commit to, to do that. You know, some of the other things that we need to commit to is to grow together as, as a couple. And, you know, marriages are going to take maintenance. And sometimes in this young love stage, the first two years are starry in love. And, you know, a lot of that comes naturally because they don't have maybe the issue of children in the marriage yet and some other things that come in. But one of the things we have to commit to is taking time together to, to grow as a couple, you know go to a, a weekend retreat, a marriage enrichment retreat somewhere, or to do something special together to celebrate your anniversaries or, or your birthdays. You need to, to do that. And then we need to uh, choose to grow as individuals. I mean, I'm not the same man you married back in, you know. 1974. Yeah, if you were going to say the date, that's right, <clears throat> 1974. Uh, you know, I've grown literally, you know, by pounds and shrunk by inches. But uh, I've also grown in terms of my personality, my character, and uh, as well uh, in the efforts to try to become a, a better husband. And I needed to change too. We all need to adjust to our relationships and our desire should be to grow and to change and to become a couple that not only loves each other but serves together in the community, in the church, yeah, commit and to having a similar passion, a similar ministry, a similar path for your your marriage. You know, it's only going to be as strong as as the, the weakest individual. So we need to grow and and uh, become 
the man and woman that God wants us to be. Now's the time to pause the video and do our knee to knee, nose to nose questions, which couples have found to be the most impactful aspect of these videos because they get down to business about their own relationship. Thanks for joining us on Fan the Flame Dates and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.